Welcome everyone! You are about to embark on a journey through the universe as you indulge in this extraordinary essence of enlightened, empowered, evolved. Let the show begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just in time. Greetings everyone. I'm Luke Bryan Smith and welcome to Enlightened, Empowered, Evolved, where we educate, motivate, and liberate you through enlightening dialogues, empowering music, and evolving content. I know everyone's doing well and everything is unfolding perfectly. I'm excited yet again because I have another amazing guest who is a graduate of the Hypnosis Motivational Institute in Tarzana, California, currently enrolled in the Advanced Occupational Study of Mind Body Psychology at the HMI, at HMI, not the HMI, Ordained Minister of Metaphysics through the study at the University of Metaphysics in Sedona, Arizona, and a whole lot more. But without further ado, allow me to introduce to you, Mr. Joseph Cooperwood. How are you doing today, Joseph? Luda, I'm doing great, man. Thank you for the introduction. I appreciate it. Appreciate you having me here today. I actually very well too. I'm glad to be here. And I'm um and you on the back, you know, because of what you said you're doing, what you um looking to do for people, you know, bringing them a um, platform, you know, for conversating, for getting into um, higher realms and higher dimensions and getting into what people can accomplish, what people can do and empower themselves, man. I'm really um, glad to be a part of this. And thank you. Thank you for having me here today. Really, really welcome. Really glad. Yes, yes, yes. And I, I want to also reciprocate that by saying, that I believe that time is one of our most precious assets. And for you to spend some a moment of your time in your timeline, the history of your timeline in your life here with me on Enlightened Power Evolved, I just want to extend that, reciprocate that gratitude to you and say thank you very much for accepting my invitation and being here today. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful mm -hmm. to be speaking with you today, Joseph. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, now, back to what we were saying, not to cut you off, but you were right. talking about how you uh, initially got motivated into in something. I, I cut you off because I wanted people to hear as well as myself right. what you were talking about. So get back into that dialogue. Well, that perception that I was talking about, that perception yes. of who God was, was given to me. Right. It wasn't, um, I didn't find it myself, which was, uh, you know, through the Christian, um, Christian church, through, well, I was born Baptist and got baptized in Mississippi as a Baptist and you know we were we're all given this perception of God. We're all given this um, this idea of what God is, who God is, how God operates, and this and that. And through a long through long study, where you can say that I found my own perception of God, my own experience through God. I think we all have to find our own experience. Agree, agree. And I found my experience, and I found my um my perception of what God is, who God is, and how God operates, instead of being told who God mm -hmm. is, being given the blueprint of, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of what the Bible says. I'm aware of what the Bible says, very aware of what the Bible says. And I was, it's been, you know, drilled into the minds of man for for, for many, many years. Yeah, indoctrination. You know, I, I, I invite... Yeah, I invite <laughs> everyone to look into it for themselves right. and seek their own experience with God, to seek their own experience with what God is to them instead of being fed the, um, the look, the perception, the idea of what God is in this in this universe, in this world, you know? And right. I found mine. I'm glad that I did the old, you know, inner cleansing, you can call it, right. the old self-cleansing inner work to to have that experience, to have that relationship right. with God. Right. Um, I don't know if you probably see my Facebook page, the pin post that I have there. Someone kind of gave me a nasty gram through um, Facebook Messenger app about that post. Right. And that's what enlightened me to um, make that. She, she said, oh my God, you have no idea what God is and God is this and God is that and you're not God and all this. And I was, you know, I was like, okay, she has her idea of God, and right. and she actually got blocked me, so I couldn't even 
you know, respond <laughs> to her, Master Graham. Yes. But that's all right, though. I, I, I said her love anyway. Everybody's yes. going to have the perception of God. I have mine. I'm going to keep mine. I can't let anybody else's perception of God, you know, affect mine. Exactly. You know? And allow me to interject in that just a bit. Please. That, to me, in my perspective, is spot on. And I'm not giving it a, a, a positive or negative. It just aligns along with what I have come to know. And I'm not even going to say believe, come to know. And, no, and, exactly. and what I'm saying is I had to learn myself, you know, un undo, unlearn a lot of things that were drilled into my head and I was indoctrinated and I got to a point and I believe God, the universe allowed me to go through these things. And I'm thankful that I had the fortitude to be able to look within and discover who God is, what God is myself and to discover that, you know, I am part of God and in me. And so a lot of times when you tell people that who have connected a, an identity, and this is not to criticize, this is just to make aware people that have, have been indoctrinated with a certain idea of God or the higher power, and you challenge that, and they've attached their identity to it, and they're not elevated out of that or leaving themselves open for other perspectives they they meet it with anger and because it confuses them because what you're doing is shaking up everything that they believe about themselves when you do hit people yeah. with that not that you're doing that on purpose you you're simply just sharing from your perspective what you mm -hmm. know what you believe what you what aligns with your spirit with your yeah energy. exactly yes and exactly what you said is knowing right it's not even a belief anymore it's a knowing now it's a knowing now yeah. It is. I always say that that I've graduated from that belief into a knowing yeah. and that knowing aligns with in here. And no one can tell me something on the opposite side or tell me something contradictory to this knowing that I have in here. And I constantly fine tune and align myself daily with my words, my actions and my thoughts, my study and the people that I align myself with and the people I draw into my experience to further affirm and to further solidify this and strengthen this knowing. So, yes. You must, you must. I, I allow people to have their perceptions too, though. Absolutely. You no, know, I can't. You do. I'm not going to uh, try to drill it in their head. Like I said in the beginning, they must find their own experience with it because right. experience create that knowing. Yes. If you have no experience with it, you just have a belief of it. That's right. No experience, and Chris, just a belief of it. That's right. And the best way, like you said, not to drill it in people's head is just by just being your authentic self and letting them and be, being being the, 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 the example and letting them see how things are unfolding for you. And that is enough for some and some it's not. But that's not really your. Mm -hmm. And just to put it quite frankly, that's not really your 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 concern, not 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 trying to sound. Um, arrogant or crass or anything like that, mm -hmm. but that's just really not, you know, we can't, it's not our job to save people. Now, if the, uh, if the opportunity presents itself, we can share information if people are open to it, but you know, right, right. away, if someone's not open to it and they just are there to criticize you and they're not in a receptive, um, you know, type of mentality uh, or receptive, yeah, yeah, mentality. Mind, state of and, body. And, and you can't mm -hmm. talk to a person like that anyways. Those that's not who you're meant to reach. Somebody that's <laughs> in a closed off box because all you'll do is be stooping down, you know, lowering your vibration and just and you'll get nowhere. I know. And it, <laughs> it's even in the Bible, right? I like I said, I know um much of the Bible. When Jesus right. talked to his disciples he says there's much that i have to tell you but as of yet you're not ready to receive it exactly basically yeah. in those in that context he said you're not ready to receive it. in this world right here i know people will receive it when they're ready to receive it and yes. i just feel like i'm a, i know i'm an old soul dude. i right. know i'm an old soul i've been on this planet before i know this right 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 and it has been my time this is my time to wake up to realize right. to do some self reflection some inner work to know what's going on in me and even around me. Right. And I'm so grateful that I chose to dive deeper, you know? Yes. And to remember, who, remember who you exactly. are. Because remember this human experience real. has caused us to uh, forget 
the power that we have, but it's all throughout yeah. history. I mean, we can get real yeah. deep into it as to who we are because they're still trying to figure out things that were left on this planet of how these people did it. And it, it, it was some kind of, you know, I won't say some kind of, but it was, they were more connected with their, with their God power and, you know, and yeah. that's why they were able to do that things that we still can't duplicate with our modern technology. So we know that there's all kinds of things left to, to even remind us physical, tangible things. But other than that, nothing can outshine that voice that you have speaking to you, you know, that intuition. And you, when you know, and you're at peace that you're walking along and you, you're on to something, you know, nothing, nothing can. And even when people that don't understand it may try to vilify it or demonize it, but you know, inside your heart that there's nothing uh, <laughs> wrong and terrible and evil if you want to put a label on it about what you're experiencing. It's all peace. Exactly. It's all love. Exactly. It's all balance and harmony. So we know. We know. And, and I'm yeah, glad we're waking up. To, yeah. They'll yeah. try to call it the demon, the devil, the right. the um, darkness, you know? Right. But it's energy. It's power. It's energy. in us. And we have this godlike power to create Good to re to create the good with it, yes, and right. and the, and the other side of it also. Right. But I've chosen. I wake up every morning with a choice, and everyone has a choice. Everyone has a choice. There's their their will to choose, um, their path, right? And right. right. I wake up every morning with this choice in my mind that okay, I'm gonna choose to be a host to God, right? Instead right. of being a hostage to the ego that I created before I came to this choosing, came right. to this, this realization, this, this kind of um new mindset, this new perception, you know? Right. I like how you put that. I, Instead of being oh. a hostage to your ego, and I want to add something to that, and a hostage to what others with that may have ill intentions have indoctrinated you with or kept covered mm -hmm. so that you won't realize this, what you, what you are now realizing. So, Mm -hmm. you know whatever their intentions I can't are claim, uh, yes i can't claim credibility for that though mine that's not mine i i i remember this very like powerful nightly kind of affirmation or um or um motto and that right. part right there is the ending of it right being a host to god rather than a hostage to your ego mm. i i recited this so many nights over and over and over to the point where it just it's in my mind like my name and address and social security number you know i can't forget that now Right. And that's why I use that um often. No, that's being a host, being a, a host to God instead of a hostage to the ego. Cleansing. That's that inner work that I talked about a minute ago, you know? Yes. No, and there's nothing wrong with it. And I appreciate you being transparent, saying that you did not come up with that. But it, but to me, it, it doesn't matter who comes up with that. If it resonates with you and now you're taking that on, much. then that 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 it's part of you now. Just like I say all the time that and I didn't make this up, but I've discovered it somewhere that I'm a work in progress and a masterpiece at the same time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I like and that. I say that all the yeah. time or simultaneously. So, yes, mm -hmm. I didn't make that up, but that I have now embodied that now. So. Yeah, I say it now. And so it, what <laughs> I want to do man, with the hypnotherapy program that I'm in now and practicing is I want to help somebody that, you know, wants to be re-empowered. Right. They want to be um, kind of um, made aware of their own, um, their own ability right. to think it into their existence, to think. And, and even um, with hypnotherapy, right, you can take what's there now, replace right. it with something that's good. Because with mm. hypnotherapy, if you're going to hypnotize anyone who's willing to be hypnotized, you must replace what they are trying to um, remove from themselves with something better, something more right. fulfilling, something more empowerful, you know, empowerment. Um, and I'm just looking to help somebody. Like I've been, I've been helped by right. universal, by the one, by God. You know, I've been helped. I've, yes. I call, I've been helped. Right. I've been quickened to do this and I'm glad I can do this. I, I um want to help people. I had this mindset before I even jumped into the hypnotherapy program, mm. um, being of service to um, someone, to anyone, to everyone, you know, but I know I got to work on myself. I'm not fully um, where I want to be at yet, but I yes. know I'm walking forward every day. I'm taking these small steps every day to get to the places where I 
desire to be and continue to help somebody else be um be what they want to be or be better than they who are who they are now even right because i'm grateful that i'm not the person that i was a year ago two years ago three years ago you know um, yes. i'm still working on joseph i'm still working on this right here working yes. on the ego that joseph has also but i can say this to, yeah go if ahead. you allow me to just hit the pause go button. ahead you're not the person who you used to be right but at the same time that person you used to be has contributed to who are you becoming and who you are now. So everything that we've Absolutely. been through, even though with some things that we may not be proud of, um, mm -hmm. it still all comes together in the creation. Now, the good thing is you're taking the way of growth. Some people, and I'm just using this for contrast, some people stay stuck and they are who they once mm -hmm. was. They haven't evolved in regard. They've gotten older, but they haven't evolved in their thinking. So they're still choosing to attach themselves to things that don't serve them and don't and that aren't congruent with with growth and evolution and 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 peace and reaching towards their their god self their higher self so that's mm -hmm. that that is important in my perspective for us to say yes i am not the person i used to be but at the same time but not saying you have to say this with it but just knowing in your mind that who i used to be that gave me a a, a a a a a place to start, you know, so that I can have a you know a, a clear picture, you know, of the evolution of myself, you know, and and it's always good to be able to to look back and weigh weigh that. That gives you mm -hmm. motivation. It also gives you a testimony to help people that aren't where you are yet, um, to let them know that it is possible because you are a living testament. So yeah, all that fits in there, man. <laughs> yeah. Everything that happened to me or that, that um, happened for me, you can say, I call it right. happening for me right. was supposed to happen. Absolutely. I don't have any regrets about it. I don't have any regrets either about the yes. person that I said I was before right. Right. this day right here. All right. that led up to who I am, all that, that kind of um, right. molded and shaped and kind of sculpted me. Right. I had to go through that. I had to be there. I had to see that. I had to walk through that and get out of that. Right. You know, it, it, just it gave takes me growth. a little bit more experience. Yeah. It gave me a little more experience in this world, you know, yeah. to actually help somebody who's went through what I went through. Yeah. And I can say I went through a lot of things and um, proud what I did, grateful for what I did. And because it, it did mold me, it gave me a little bit more um, sustenance to this, to this world, you know, give me a little right. bit more experience. Strength, with um character trying everything. to help somebody else who feel like they're stuck somewhere because I felt like I was kind of stuck somewhere at one time in my life too and um yes yes just kind of climbed out yes more than surely and now trying to um re I'm reaching out to more people than I used to reach out to mm. um being able to be vulnerable at times also you know that's really helpful too that that ego that I told you about a moment ago he wasn't that kind of person kind of reaching out and say, hey, I might need a help. I might need a little a pat on the back. I might need a hand from you. Can I can I get your help? I was kind of a solo dolo, do it by myself. I don't need no help. But I know that's not how I am um, supposed to be, not how, how I'm supposed to be. Right. I can I can reach out to somebody and say, hey, can you help me with this right here? I need a little help. What's your advice? And I'm right. so grateful that I kind of climbed out of that shell that Joseph was in, you know, to say, it's all right. Yes. Open yourself up a little bit more. There you go. Be there for somebody else and they'll be there for you as well. You know, right. I, I was like that. And I'm pulling myself out of that little that little rut that I was in, thinking, okay, I can just do that by myself. Um, I don't need anybody. But I know right now when you let go of things, um, God provides. The universe is there. The universe yeah. comes around when you don't least expect it. Flow. And whatever you Flow. want and what you need and desiring. It's right there in your hand, right there in front of you, right there from somebody else. They're talking to you and they're talking about what you was just talking about. And they have it for you, for example, you know? Exactly. So I stay open all the time. I stay very open of where my um, we call them manifestations may come from, where mm. my hopes and dreams and desires and you know may come from, because I'm open to them being provided to me in any avenue, any form. And mm. I'm grateful for that. You know, because that's how that's how I call it. That's how the universe works. That's how the universe rolls. Exactly. Wherever, not wherever, but if you 
create something in your mind, believe that it's going to believe that it's going to come to you in the physical form in some way or shape or form, and don't limit it to how you should how you want to receive it because then you might miss it. Right. You know? Yes. Don't put any stipulations put yeah, yeah stipulations as to how it's gonna come let god let the universe work mm -hmm. out the details man you Good. just dropping what i like to call jewel and nugget after nugget just flow <laughs> and i love it yeah. too but i, I want to get into a little bit just at least a little bit of uh so you graduated from hypnosis motivational institute wow yes. i've never even heard of that institute how was that uh experience in, in, in Tarzana, California. And how did you even come to, to, to even go to that, that, that institute or was it an online institute? Yes. It's all online right now. Okay. Um, so you just look, to it though. okay, go ahead. Sorry. So how I got to it though, um, I met a lady and we were both basically um, into all the same things, you know, most right. of the same things we're into those same things. And then we began to start living together. And she was already enrolled in school. Okay. So while she was in class, like I said, she's on Zoom. While she was in class, I would be listening in and hearing. And one day she mentioned, hey, maybe you should join too, you know? Mm. And um, that's how it works. One thing led to another. And I was just, I was signed up next. And she's already graduated from it. Um, she actually graduated from the AOS program that I just enrolled in also. Oh, same and place? Same place, yeah. Oh, okay. Tarzana, California, also. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So we're both looking to become that, um, become these two professional hypnotherapists, working out at the same office, working in the same building, but also adding uh, more holistic ways of healing and healing, uh, healing and helping the body, also with the mind. So right. I'm glad we came together to do this. I'm glad she actually invited me and actually um, kind of gave me the the nudge to come on board with the hypnotherapy program too. Um, I feel like I was already in a mindset where um, there's this program where they have um, neuro linguistic programming mm. and that's how you use your words. Mm. That's how you use your words to um, right. reprogram yourself. That's what I call neuro linguistic programming. Yes. Um, I was kind of already using that by using affirmations every day. I was talking to her, how I always affirming this, always affirming that and Making, making my own truth of it, right? Before I even started using the affirmations, it it was like um, not so much the untruth, but actually what I desire to be truth for myself. And having said them over and over and over again, you know, they became true for me. So I kind of I blossomed out of that that little dark space that I was in. I blossomed out of the kind of kind of introverted self to um, a little bit more extroverted than I used to be before. Mm. So that helped me, you know, to be able to come up to people and talk to people, like I said before, um, reaching out for a little more help if I need some help. Wow. So affirmations is kind of the, um, like I said, the program for the neuro linguistic programming. You, you use language, you use words in a correct sound, correct way to reprogram right. yourself. Right. The same. Right here, we all have this program in our mind that we're running on day in, day out, and we're not really we're aware of the, that it being a program. So how can you re reshape the program or put a, put a, um put something into that program to change your ways, your habits, your thoughts, and your beliefs even? You know. You have the power to do that. We all have the power to do that. Yes, we do. And I'm glad you put some key nugget in there that I, I picked up really quick other than mm -hmm. just words it's 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 certain sounds that yes. that contribute to uh even even in from a scientific study they've used certain sounds and frequencies and see how it acts on matter even water molecules so the way we say things dynamics yes mm -hmm. yeah. even like when people are making that um sound it's doing something it's doing something and they they've they, yeah. they've connected that frequency with with healing and that's why you hear people, especially like the monks and stuff, or or what what do you call those guys in the in the Tibetan temples? They're doing that. Mm, it's mm -hmm. doing something that 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 frequency. So yes, I'm glad you you pointed that out too. The sound as it well. Does. That's amazing. And sound I'm, I'm, affects matter. Um, affects matter. And I'm encouraged to share two books with you. I, I don't know if it, uh, sure. uh, if you read, but two books with you. 
One, I think you should, if you haven't found it or look, read it before, it's called The Power of the Subconscious Mind by Joseph Murphy. Joseph Campbell. Joseph Murphy. Joseph Murphy? Yes. Power of the Subconscious Mind. It is. I got that black, it's black book. I got that one already. <laughs> okay. And then another one Joseph is Murphy. The Physics of Consciousness by Ivan. That one I never heard of. By Ivan Antic. A-N-T-I-C. I think you will find that just listening to you, I think you will find that very um, informative, intriguing, and just, 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 you. just amazing, man. Ivan yeah. Anton. I, I, I just finished read reading that a while ago. I was trying to see. That's why I was looking over here. I was trying to see if I had it over here. Still, I haven't. I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I finished that. I got Joseph. I got Joseph Campbell's behind me, though. Yeah. I see yes. Joseph Murphy for some reason. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. But uh, yes, yes. I, I'm reading all the time. Like, I'm reading a book, by, uh, Become Su Supernatural by Joseph uh, Dispenza, Become Supernatural. Joe Dispenza, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's his most popular book right there, yeah. Yeah, and then... Uh, That's his most popular book. And I'm reading this book. This is about the, the brain, about how to create new brain cells and how to... Uh, how to, how okay. to stop... Parkinson's and Alzheimer's by the things that we eat and do. Um, yeah. Just a lot of studies with the brain, brain matter. And so I'm just, I'm just learning. I like to learn just things, you know, I just yeah. randomly saw it on, on uh, Amazon and said, you know what, that might not be a self-help book that I'm used to reading that type of stuff. But I like to, I like to broaden the things I talk about. Like I, I, I read a book mm -hmm. prior to that, that was just on economics. So just so I can, yeah. you know, learn a mindset on uh, uh, economics and money management and investments and, and things like that. I just want to try to uh, fill my mind with as much information as possible so that when I'm having conversations with people, some of that stuff might kick in and I'm, you know, then I can help somebody wherever they are or mm -hmm. in, in, engage in a conversation where people might think that I wouldn't be able to engage. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, they say, yeah. wait a minute, man. I, I'm talking about this and hear you, you know. So, yeah, I knew about neurogenics and about the, the, the recreating of brain cells. Yes, uh, yes. There's a doctor out of San Francisco that does some fine studies. I might not remember his name, but when they hear me <laughs> start to talk about it, they oh, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. This guy's well-versed uh, self-education. I have a thing that says, the, uh, and, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Let me hear you. Oh, yeah, the knowledge is in the books. And right. um I'm glad I, I I went down that path to start doing more uh, reading than I used right. to do. I, I didn't even like to read books. I'd watch movies all the time or yes. watch TV all the time. And at this time right now, I haven't had a TV in my in my place for the last, I won't say three years or so. See, there you go. And I'm still in that space with, with um, reading books now. You That's know, what I do. Putting I have... more and more knowledge into this, in this, in this right. cavity right here, you know, trying to make something else of myself. And then more importantly, ap the applied knowledge, what you read, applied, put it to the test, yes. put it to the test, <laughs> you know, that way you yeah. can see if, if it's working. But yes, I agree with you. I do still have a television, but I watch very limited uh, TV and occasionally I'll catch a movie, but, but mostly I'll watch, like I, I'll watch sports or I'll watch like mm -hmm. something uh, educational, especially I'm a foodie. I call myself a foodie. So I like watching, hey, the, good food. I like watching yeah. the food channels, you know, them traveling around, trying different cuisines around the world or having competitions, making dishes and stuff. I, I like just watching stuff like that. But other than that, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm laid back listening to. Uh, I had a friend of mine years ago, turn me on to this and I wasn't into it before classical music. I put that on. Right. While I'm reading and it does something, it does something. It puts you in a place that you just can't explain it. You know, so I'll go hey. to the classical music channel on on Pandora or whatever and listen to them, them compositions by Beethoven, Vivaldi, all them, Sebastian Bach, all those and just let them violins and all that stuff play. And it just puts me in a very refined space and just read, and you know. I want to tell you why those classical tunes they hold those frequencies that right. we all listen to on YouTube. Those five twenty eight, those four seventeen, right. you know, they, they hold those frequencies, right? You know, and I did the same thing. I started listening to classical music a couple of years ago and thinking I would never ever listen to a classical right. tune in my life, but right. that music hits my sails. It does, and I feel like 
I feel washed. I feel like, you know, relaxed. I feel you calm. Go. You feel on a different level. Myself. Yeah. The sound it, affects matter. Like it it affects matter. Like and it puts you in a higher state. Like you feel yeah. like you elevating just by listening to that. And knowing that mm -hmm. you just, even psychologically, just knowing that you listen to something that people of refined uh, minds listen to and now you know why. And so yeah. I want, I want this too. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. you know, at first, first it was kind of forced a little bit. I just put it on and it was like, but I was resisting it. Something that you mentioned, I was resisting because mm -hmm. it wasn't what I was used to. So my, 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 my system had to go through a bit of a shakeup. This ain't what I'm used to listening to, <laughs> you know? And then I, mm -hmm. when I surrendered, I found that it was like medicine, man. And and now I listen to oh, it. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm blasting it out of my car when I'm driving down the street, but I tell you yeah. one thing: when I'm relaxing, I'll light some incense. I'll have yeah. my lighting correctly, and I'll have that book, and I'll put on that classical music, man. And I'm in a whole different realm. I'm in a different realm. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I have a re I have a playlist. It's called the Reading Playlist, right? Right on our YouTube, and um, I'll turn it on when I want to read something. Right. And I have a, it has classical in there. It even has some Native American drums and yes. uh, yes. um, flutes and things in there, man. So I really have changed like a lot of the things that I thought I would only do. You know, I added some things to it. And, you know, I'm creating those new neural pathways for, for right. better, for improvement, right. you know. Right. Add new things to it and taking some of those things out that don't serve me. Because I know some of the root music I listened to back in the past, you know. Yeah. They hold different frequencies. They hold those lower right. vibrational frequencies, in my opinion, my my experience. No, and they do. I'm yes. listening to those higher vibrational um, tones and melodies and 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 um, frequencies because I know the power of music and the power of words too, especially. Right. right. And I'm I'm kind of adding. I'm taking away what doesn't serve me or doesn't help me grow. Right. And evolve. I'm glad you. I'm glad you touched on that, man, because, you know, and I know this and I'll just say it briefly, but the music that is commercialized nowadays, especially um, the urban music, the hip hop music, they they, they lower lower fre frequencies. They're made just to keep you numb in your mind mm -hmm. and keep you on a lower vibration. And and that's not even including the lyrical content that's not elevating yeah. you at all. So all that yeah. stuff is 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 pushed on the airwaves and is 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 most of it. And I'm not criticizing any of the talented artists that are in it, but you know, it's it's all it's all it's all behind consumerism and mass, you know, at the at the at the expense of 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 our of our health, of our mental health, yeah. you know, especially as a as a as a you know society, as a as a culture, you know, it's 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 very it's really not like you said, I'll just leave it like that. It's not serving us um, mm -hmm. in, in, in a positive way. It, it, it's not. And I've seen artists, though, that are coming with lyrics such as yourself. You know, I've right. seen your channel with your with your with your songs, man. Oh, and yeah. More and more is coming now. It's waking up more. I'm looking forward to it, too. I'm looking forward to it. Right. Yeah. More, so more and more artists I'm seeing now are coming with those high vibrational words. Words. Then those lower tone words, you no know, adding more. Um, enlightening, involving, and, and um, empowering words like your uh, podcast in its name, you know? Right. And I like that. I like that. It's coming more and more mainstream, I believe. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing yes. for everyone to because, find because, experience and get a, get a hold of. Because, and, 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 my, and my reason, and I'll make this brief because we're down to about three minutes, but I'll make this brief. Mm -hmm. When you get a whole collective of people waking up, so to speak, it, it's hard to keep that suppress if it's only pockets here and there they can they can keep mm -hmm. those down but it's too many people that are are being privy and being reminded and it's in the energy also you know even like this podcast it's like you know it's contributing to the the vibration and and, and just different areas and you can't right. stop that right. you can't stop that you know so that's why it's coming out but before we leave here i want to know how can people uh find you can you share with us a website, a, a link, anything here sure, out of Sure, sure. All right. Um, my website is um, the copacetic life dot one. That's B C O P A C E T I C life dot one. Or you could um, look that up on YouTube as well, or even on Instagram. And I'll be found there. All right. Thank you very much, Joseph. I'm gonna have to have you back again because I can tell that we can we can have a lot I'd to like talk to come about. Back. 
Yes, yes. And you are more than welcome to. I will reach out to you. Thank you, everyone, for watching and or listening to the Enlightened and Powered Evolve podcast. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, share this amazing uh, video, audio around with everyone. Help the help the, the podcast grow. Help get this out there. Also, just sharing this amazing, high vibrational, empowering, enlightening information with people. People you love and just everyone. Thank you very much. Be sure to hit the Enlightened Empowered Evolved website as well at 333empower.com. And then go into the description of this video as well and hit the link and check out Joseph as well. His links will be are in the description of this segment right now. By the time you watch it, it's in there. Look at the description. Look at a little bit of his bio. Check out his links. Check him out. Yes, Enlightened Empowered Evolved. See you soon.